Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to tomorrow. So there's lots of upcoming missions that hopefully will be successfully launching into space very soon. And today I wanted to talk about some of the updates regarding those missions for this Your Space Pod for November 24th, 2015. First off, SpaceX has gotten its first official order for commercial crew flights on their Dragon V2 capsule. This is not development funding, this is actual booked flights with astronauts on board. And this announcement comes about six months after Boeing received a similar announcement. But how many flights, and how much do they cost? Well, NASA won't comment on how many flights have been booked and how much they cost for either SpaceX or Boeing. And the reason for that, they say, is that they won't release the award value because there could be future competition for commercial crew flights. That makes me hope that there might be some sort of commercial crew round two where Sierra Nevada and maybe Orbital ATK and a couple other companies could compete for commercial crew flights. That would be very cool, but... As of right now, that's all we know. We can only speculate. Meanwhile, the pieces are coming together for SpaceX's return to flight of the Falcon 9, hopefully in mid-December from Cape Canaveral. They're going to be launching the Orbcom 2 mission, which will be launching 11 OG2 second generation Orbcom satellites into orbit. This will also be using their new full thrust version of the Falcon 9, version 1.2. The first stage of the rocket has arrived at Cape Canaveral as of Friday, November 20th, and it will go through a static fire test, usually a week before launch at Space Launch Complex 40. This rocket stage has already gone through several static fire tests at SpaceX's facility in McGregor, Texas. Meanwhile, Blue Origin has announced that they're going to be attempting another flight of their new Shepard vehicle sometime before the end of this year. They're still being very secretive, but at least this time they're giving us a heads up. They hope this time to recover both the capsule and the rocket stage. But, regarding launches that we do get a lot of info about, the next Cygnus cargo freighter has been encapsulated in its payload shroud and made it to the top of its Atlas V rocket for a hopefully December 3rd launch. Finally, earlier today there was a launch from Japan of their H-2A rocket, and this was carrying the Telestar 12 Vantage telecommunications satellite for Telesat of Canada. This was the first time that Japan has launched a commercial satellite as the primary payload on the H-2A rocket. Although they have launched commercial payloads before on the H-2A, they've only been secondary payloads. This is the first time that it was a primary payload. This launch also features an upgraded upper stage rocket engine that will be able to have a third engine relight during the flight to be able to help payloads get to geosynchronous orbit easier and making the rocket competitive on the commercial launch market. So personally, I hope that after this mission, Japan is able to get a lot of customers on the commercial market Market and be able to generate a lot of profit to be able to upgrade their rocket even further. They've talked about man rating their rocket and having their own type of capsule to send up their own astronauts with. And Japan has lots of other ideas and hopefully this sort of thing would lead to future things that they want to do and would be able to bring them up to, uh, I guess, a higher level to compete with China and Russia and the European Space Agency and even the United States. So congratulations, Japan, on this successful launch and hopefully many more commercial launches are in your future. Anyway, let us know on social media what you think about this successful launch for Japan and whether or not you think it will have a big implications on their future spaceflight program. Also, we want to know what you think the success rate is of these upcoming missions that hopefully will be launching very soon. Very interested to know which ones you think will go off without a hitch or will have problems and why. So please leave a comment and let us know what you guys think about these. Also, thank you so much to everyone who's been contributing to our Patreon campaign. There's recently been some changes to how we're doing things. Instead of having the donations per episode, we're actually doing it per month now. And there's lots of different goals and rewards that we have been able to set up there. So there's lots of different changes in store there. So if you haven't already, go and check out how your account is set up if you want to be continuing to make donations to the space pods. And if you're not already, then please go and check out what we have in store there and what some of the 
new reward levels will be at patreon.com slash spacepod. Thank you so much to everyone who's been contributing and hopefully we can continue to make more of these videos in the future. So just thank you so much. I'm going to end it at that for now, but thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Michael Clark and hopefully you know a little bit more today than you did yesterday thanks to tomorrow. Keep moving onwards and upwards everybody and I will see you in the future.